Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. My name's Jack and this is my YouTube channel, Life in Motion. Now, this is not my usual 718 Cayman that appears on my channel. This is a Porsche Macan S. Why am I looking at a Macan? Well, I'm looking to replace my Cayman with something a little bit more practical that I can get the dog in, I can get people in. Uh, and so, why not start with Porsche? Why not start with something I've already got? And so, I've gone for the Macan S. People have told me this car is like a 911 on stilts, so that's what I'm going to find out. In the video, I'm going to look around the outside, look around the inside, go for a drive, and at the end of the video, I'm going to decide whether or not this could potentially replace my Cayman. So, that's the question. Could it replace my car? Let's jump in and let's find out. So guys, let's start with the interior and let's have a little look around and see what you guys think. At the front, we've got a sporty design. The Macan is ultimately supposed to be a very sporty SUV. And I think it looks like that, exactly that on the front. So at the front, you can see the large intercoolers inside. We've got a nice big gaping grille like we do on uh, the Porsches like my, my Cayman. Um, but on this particular car, you've got a 360 degree camera. So in there, you've got a camera there. And I think that's probably like a radar guided cruise control or or something like that. It's got um, sensors all around, but yeah, this one's got a 360 degree camera. It's got a nice little Porsche emblem on the front there, which looks nice. And um, this car hasn't got PGS Plus, I don't think, um, but obviously that's an option you could go for. Uh, right on the side of the car, I'm, by the way, I'm not sure what color this is. If someone knows, comment below. It's not a gate like mine is, I don't think. It, it's nice though, very nice car. Um, I wouldn't have this one though, I'd have crayon and I'd have slightly different wheels, but regardless, these wheels aren't too bad. Um, they are wrapped in Michelin's, which are a good move, as we all know from my last video. Um, but yeah, the car looks nice. I think from the side profile, it's like a nice looking car. It's not too big, it's not too small, but it's got that nice kind of sloping coupe design, which lots of people are looking for at the moment. I'll come around to this side, as you can kind of see, it's just like a nice, definitely a nice sloping roof line at the back. Um, and also on the, the new Porsche Macans, you've now got this nice light bar all the way back. Um, on the back there, that's really, really nice. I like lights, I like big LEDs, I like cars to look bright. And um, this car's also got a panoramic roof, um, which obviously you can't get on the Cayman, but I definitely would like one on my new car. Um, I'd like it to be nice and bright and airy. And I always like cars that are, they're big cars, dark interiors, I like them to be light and airy at top. Um, as we come down, because this is the Macan S, it comes with a three litre, um, but also it comes with these quad pipes, which are real exhausts. Uh, if you look at one of the Carwell videos, you will see uh, the old stick test. These are real exhausts, uh, and they, unfortunately, on the Macans are all real exhausts. But yeah, these ones come to the, the quad, so two on each side. They look really nice, and you can see underneath, you've got the sensor and the camera. Now, one thing that, while I'm at the back, one thing that's really, really cool, when you want to open the boot, look at it. There's no normal place you can kind of just open it. You come here and you press this little button there and oh, as if by magic, it's open. How cool is that? Uh, so yeah, power assisted tailgate, which is nice. Uh, I like that it means that when I'm coming up to the car after a dog walk, I can open it with my key and the dog can jump in straight away, especially if it's raining hard. Um, this car's got privacy glass, got the dark roof rails on the sides, and it's also got the painted black side cows. Now, I've never really been sure of though, especially the plastic ones, but those are black and they look pretty smart. But yeah, guys, I'm just going to step back. What do you guys think of the outside of this car? Do you think it looks good? Do you think what else looks better? Um, also, the things like the Q8, even the KN, you know, those are all different cars that I've looked at, but what do you think of this car? Do you think it looks nice? Do you think it looks stylish? I definitely think the quad exhausts are right, but I think I'd go for crayon, which is a colour. If you don't, if you haven't seen it before, have a little Google of what crayon looks like as a Porsche. It looks superb. But I think I would go for the Macan S so I can get the, uh, the bigger engine. So that's the outside. Let's jump in the inside. Starting on the inside, it looks very familiar to my Cayman. So I've got the same multifunction steering wheel as my Cayman. And I've also got the same three dials, so they look very similar to my car. Um, you're pro if you've seen a lot of Porsches recently, you'll see that they've actually been updating their interiors. Um, but this one's still got those three dials uh, and the same one as me. If I jump onto the inside as well, I'm just going to scoot G on in. Oh, it smells so... It's only got 1,200 miles this car, so it's so nice and new. 
Um, it's obviously a leather wrap steering wheel. Um, I've still got the same key that I get, so I put my key in and turn, like I do on my Cayman, which on the KN is just a little fob now, and also the 992s. Um, moving through the middle of the car, what we have got is this nice big infotainment screen. Now, this shows things like your radio and your maps there, but yeah, that's a much bigger upgrade than my car. So mine's got a, a small little slim one in the middle. This one's got a nice big touch screen. It is fairly responsive. Um, it doesn't give you feedback when you touch it like some of the other cars, like the Q8. Um, but no, it is nice. Uh, and again, it's got a nice big screen. It's easy to use. So that is a positive. In the middle again, it's classic Porsche stuff here. We've got all the different buttons up the side, which is cool. So this one's got something called a sports chrono package, which comes with the little stop clock in the middle, the little sporty button here. And there's also a PDK and you've got a sports exhaust. So I will try and demonstrate that later. And when you go into sports mode, it goes on automatically. It's not a massive difference, um, but you know, it, it, it must help over the, the standard. So that's good. But um, yeah, it's got everything I guess I'd need. I mean, the Cayman doesn't really come with anything. So, you know, or air conditioning, it's got cruise control. Um, it's got obviously PDK and the multifunction steering, wheel, which is nice. So yeah, it's pretty easy and it's pretty nice in here. It is electrically adjustable as well. So there's a little electrically adjustable thing underneath there. You can do that. So yeah, all in all, it's a nice quality feel inside. Everything's nice and solid, like my Cayman is and like it should be. Bit of leather wrap on the st on the uh, on the dashboard as well there. So yeah, all in all, it's a nice place to be in the front. So as we move to the back of the car, I'm just going to jump outside and go to the back. So one thing, obviously, I haven't got on my Cayman is firstly back doors. Hello. And secondly, I haven't got any seats in the back, which has been a great excuse to say, no, I can't take anyone out because I've only got one seat. But in this, I've got a nice bench across. I've got three seats, one and a little bit one. Um, you can see in the back here, I've got, um, also I've got heated rear seats, which is nice. And I've got a little temperature button there for, for my passengers. And it looks like I've got a USB-C um, charger there, so I can charge bits using that charger. But again, it looks all right in here. It doesn't look too bad. I mean, again, I'm hoping I'm not gonna be spending any time in here at all, but I'm just gonna jump in. I'm gonna close this a bit and just turn you around. So, in the back of the car, what do we think? I mean, first of all, plenty of headroom. Let me just see if I can get you this side. Got plenty of headroom. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but I've got plenty of headroom. Um, also, it doesn't feel too you know, small. There's not enough thing. I'm not, I'm not very tall, uh, but yeah, it seems like plenty of, of headroom. Uh, and also in front of me, if I just have a little look, again, I'm, you know, 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, I've got plenty of room. I mean, the, the passenger seat is, the driver's seat is basically where it would be when I'm driving. So that's not too bad. If you're a bit taller, it's probably going to be a bit of a problem, but it's okay. And there is a bit of a lip there uh, where where your feet would hopefully be. So you have to be inside. So it might be a little bit, a little bit cramped if you have a couple of people in here. Um, I've also got Bose surround sound system, which I have got on my Porsche came in today and it is really really nice but again there's a better review of what you can see in the front it is a really lovely car and you have got a panoramic roof as well with a little blind cover so you can have that as well but yeah all in all it's a nice place to be it's nice and comfortable and um, yeah I think it'll do really really well so I'm sure you guys are all wondering how practical this car is well you've got big door gubbins you've got a bit where I put my phone in there but I've also got a bit in there for just putting miscellaneous bits and also just charge my phone. I have got a glove box as well, but before I get there, I'm just gonna go around to the back and open the boot again, just to kind of demonstrate a little bit more about how big it is. Again, I love that, that's such a cool feature. So in the boot, got plenty of space for the dog. That's one of my main things is I wanna get the dog in here. Um, so I've got plenty of space for that, but you can see that's a reasonably sized bag. and I've got a laptop bag there, plenty of space in the back there for all my bits and bobs. So guys, welcome inside the car. I'm just gonna get it started. So I'm gonna start by putting on the ignition, then put it into sport mode. That activates the sports exhaust. I'm gonna turn that baby on. Oh. Sounds all right, doesn't it? So let's see what this car is like. Just gonna pull out here. Oh, opportunity. Let's see where it goes. Jesus! Whoa! Okay, that's pretty serious. So this car's got the PDK, uh, but it has got the all-important three-liter. Uh, well, V6, I think it's a three-liter. And, uh, and apparently it does 
as they say, handle like a 911, just on stilts. Jeez. The brakes are very good on this car. I mean, I, I must admit, it's changing nicely. I'm, I am kind of putting it into the corner. The seats are a little bit, they, uh, they don't quite hold you as well as uh, my Cayman does, but they're not exactly sports seats, are they? So I didn't think they would be. Just gonna go over here. Flip down. It makes little farty sounds when it changes, that's quite... Oh, so first impressions. The engine does sound okay, it's not too loud. It's got the sports exhaust button on right now and it sounds okay, but it's not, you know, it's not the loudest thing, but it's not going to be, it's, it's not supposed to be. Uh, the driving position is nice, it's got good view, I can see most things. Uh, the pillars aren't too fat, which they could be because the rake of this, this, the uh, windscreen is quite low. Um, looking at the mirrors, they look quite like my Cayman does. And it's quite nice to see the kind of haunches at the back, which is nice, it's quite Porsche-esque. It feels quite nice and nimble, which I guess is kind of one of the things I like about the, the McCann and why I wanted to get a... Go on, let's on. Uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to get one or have at least a going one is because I've heard it's quite nimble. It's that kind of 911 on stilts thing. And yeah, it, it does kind of give that kind of essence of that performance. So that's really, really good. What else about this car? It is very comfortable. Um, these aren't the biggest wheels, but they're not the smallest wheels. And it's floating around quite nicely. Uh, there's not a huge amount of wind noise. There's a bit of tire noise, road noise that you can hear, but it's certainly nothing near as bad as my Cayman, which is a positive, but yeah. It's nice and comfortable, it flows nicely. When you're sitting here, it's just a nice place to be with the leather seats and the leather steering wheel and there's lots of leather on the dash and, and the door cards and everything. Um, but all in all, yeah, it's just, a, it's just a nice place to be. And I think that's one of the, the most important things is that you wanna make sure it's a, a nice place to be every day, which it definitely does feel like it is, which is nice. Okay guys, so I'm on the way back to the dealership now. Um, it's been a really nice opportunity to take this car for a drive. I've been impressed by its three litre petrol engine. I've been impressed by the PDK, which has always been a phenomenal gearbox. And again, it's not let down in this car. It's nice and quick to respond. It's also very comfortable, which is what I wanted to get. And obviously there's plenty of boot space for me. It's only me and the dog, so plenty of space for that. Um, I've got to get my head around the fact that it's not going to be a Cayman. I'm not going to be driving a sports car because it is quite difficult to kind of remember that because obviously I've been so used to it. I love the Cayman as a sports car. So that's going to be something I'm taking used to. But yeah, all in all, it's a really impressive car. So if you are looking for a Porsche Macan, uh, Macan, Macan S, GTS, whatever you're looking for, I can tell you the Macan S is a very comfortable, very usable everyday car. So would I buy one now? I don't know. I wasn't quite sold. And I think it's just because I've got to get used to the fact that I'm going to be driving a bigger car rather than the Cayman. But Regardless, it's a lovely car and a really, really good place to start. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like. Make sure also to subscribe to the channel. I've hit a thousand subscribers recently, but I want to keep going with more. I want to be driving cars like this and showing you guys what they're like, what they're like to drive, what they're like inside, outside, uh, and just trying to give you my opinion. Um, and also make sure you comment below. Comment below what this colour is, I don't know what it is. Comment below if you've got a Macan S. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know what your fuel's like. Let me know how you use it, if it's user friendly. Give me all that information. Um, but guys, I will leave it there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you very, very soon. I've got the time.